go ahead and open up chart. <coughs> Make sure your uh, kettle is plugged into the computer via USB cable. Radio, download from radio. Mine is COM3, Kenwood, TMV71 is listed, and hit OK. It will start reading all your memories in the radio. There's 999 of these. Let it go. Okay, let it go down until it reads all of the 999. Now, one thing about the uh, Kenwood TMV71 with Chirp is it will be live. If you make any changes to this file, it will immediately go to the radio. Remember that. If you change one thing, it will immediately go to the radio. So, as you see, it's doing 300, 400. That's going down through them. We will let this go here. All right, 9999. All the channels are brought in. Okay. If I wanted to take all these out, it's very simple to do. I just hit Control A and hit Delete, and it will just delete all the channels on the Kenwood. This does this immediately. Okay, so you're wiping out the radio at this time. There's there's nothing going to be left in memory. Okay, that's it. Radio is now empty. There's nothing in here. So say I wanted to go and load my local two meters. Import from data source. Say I wanted to go to repeater book. I would pick my state, which would be Pennsylvania. Say I wanted to load <coughs> say I wanted to load the whole state in on two meters. Okay, I can do Pennsylvania all two meters. Find OK. And there we go. It will start setting the memories for you. Okay. Now we can go ahead and go radio. Import from data source. Repeater book and pick the 70 centimeters. Click on OK for the whole state. Okay, these are all right up and import. After those are imported, I have the whole state of Pennsylvania 2 and 70 set up in the Kenwood TMV71. Okay, so we click on show empty and as you can see we have all our frequencies in all the way down okay so we have Pennsylvania all in our Kenwood TMV 71 we have 301 channels. There's your 70s. And you have your 2 meters mixed in as well. Alright. Now, if you already have a CSV file that you want to put in, which I do, I'm going to do a control A and delete. I'll wipe this Kenwood back out. And we'll let that go through its deletion here until it hits 999. Then I will load just the local ones back in from the CSV file. Very, very simple. I want to go to File, Import. You want to pick CSV file down here. Ham radio, ham radio, Kenwood. You want to pick CSV. Okay. And then I have 128 backup. That's my local. There's Pennsylvania all. And there's the regular original Kenwood backup. And there's Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. So I'm going to pick 
128.17 back up. Click open. There's all my local repeaters. I click OK. And it will write it will write right back to the radio. It will set to 40, I think I have 41 or 47 local that I use. Now what you can do is load different ones in for different things you're doing. If you're going to be traveling across the state, you can import and um, save it. So there's all my local ones here. And if you want to change anything, like a tone, it's already here. You just double click, pick a drop down. Tone, if it's a minus or a plus, you can change everything here by just clicking on them. Um, very simple to do. You want to add one, put your frequency in here. Okay. If you want to add one, you put the frequency in there. And that's it. So right now, this is my local one. Um don't know why channel 4 is empty it's going to move the blocks up because one was empty it will take a while Okay, and that's how you clear an empty channel. Now what I want to do is I want to go to File, Export. I want to save it as a CSV. Let's say 25202015 Local PA. So I want to give it a date, Local Pennsylvania, and save as a CSV. Make sure they're all highlighted and OK. That way this file is now saved as a CSV file in my um, communications. OK, right here. So I can take my backup from January and delete it. And I could take this one as well and delete that one. So now I have my new local one. So that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, program your Kenwood with Chirp.